Welcome to Naperville Notables, a conversation with people making an impact on our community. Joining me now is Catherine Ross of Ross Creative Works. Thanks for joining me, Catherine. Thank you for having me today. Congratulations on your 4 Under 40 Award. That's exciting. Thank you so much. So tell me a little bit, um, I read in your blog that you're still a work in progress. Tell me what that means. A work in progress to me is always creating, always doing something, looking for the next thing around the, the corner. I would say if I had done my best work last week, last month, last year, that would kind of be depressing to me. The people who really inspire me have had a second, third, fourth act in life, and I aspire to always be a work in progress and always be collaborating with new people, creating new things, learning new things. That's awesome. Well, in, in today's changing technology, there's lots of opportunity to keep changing. That's true, very much so. So tell me a little bit how you got here. You are originally from North Dakota, and I find that fascinating. I am originally from North Dakota, probably the only person you know from North Dakota. <laughs> probably, yes. <laughs> and I met my now husband at a Young Professionals Conference. It was a national conference in Florida. We dated back and forth for a couple of years, and I moved here in 2011, and I've been here ever since. So how do you like Naperville? I love Naperville. I love the opportunities to be involved in the community. I love the artists that I get to collaborate with, and I love that Chicago is only a train right away. I like going to the Art Institute and seeing all of the, the cultural opportunities in the city as well. It's been a great place to live. That's awesome. Now you mentioned that you met at the, the YPM and the Young Professional Network. Tell me a little bit about how that has helped you and, and what is that? The Young Professionals Network of Naperville is a program through the Naperville Chamber of Commerce. And it's a wonderful opportunity for young people, generally ages 21 to 40, to get more involved in the chamber, in their community, and really get to network and know each other in the business community in the Naperville area. And it's been huge for me as a professional because that's where I've really met my Naperville community. Mm -hmm. Previous to working for myself, I worked at a corporate job and I was commuting for so many hours during the day, there really wasn't an opportunity to get to know that many people in Naperville. Mm -hmm. And after I started working for myself and working with Jeffrey, I, the, the Young Professionals has just been a wonderful lifeline to mm -hmm. get to know the, the business community in Naperville and have friends who are business owners and women business owners. So it's been hugely beneficial for me. That's awesome. One of the things that I, when I was listening to your speech at the 4 Under 40 Awards that you mentioned that many women are in the graphic design industry like you are, but few are leaders or entrepreneurs or business owners like you are. Tell me a little bit about that. That's true. It's about over half of women as designers, but 4 to 11% in a leadership role. And something that I'm really passionate about is teaching younger designers how to step up and maybe tech, take that next step in their career. I'm involved with the Self-Employment and the Arts Conference, and that's put on once a year. It's a nonprofit event that teaches young professionals and emerging professionals how to present themselves, whether that's as someone who's self-employed, working for another company, how to take that next step in their career. I also like to mentor young designers and kind of show them the ropes of thinking through their career and where do they want to go next and what really are the steps to go from point A to point B to point C. Oftentimes when we're thinking about being an artist or being a video producer, in my case, a graphic designer, we don't necessarily think about that other side of the business, whether we want to own it or we want to lead others. Tell me a little bit about why you're passionate about this and how you got comfortable in that role. I would say some of it is being self-taught, learning how to handle QuickBooks and do accounting. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, yes. that's a huge part <laughs> of owning your own business it and is. you have to figure it out. I would also say um, business training. I did some training with Bill Bartlett on sales and that was huge for me just because I knew marketing and design. I didn't know sales and how to sell myself. So it's that combination of knowing what you're good at uh, learning the things that you really have to know and getting training in the things that you might not have any idea about how to do. And isn't, I find that, and I went through a similar um, 
pathway of you know really learning the business side of it, and in and it was both exciting and scary at the at the at the front of it. And now I find it more exciting because I can see where the business is going to grow, and that's exciting. What's next for you? Next for me, we have several exciting things in the works for 2019, 2020. And I'm also looking to do more creative collaborations, mm -hmm. working with some of the wonderful artists that I know in the Chicago land area. And you can find some of those things upcoming on our blog. I'm sure we'll, we'll be posting those as we go, which can be seen at rosscreativeworks.com. That's awesome. Catherine, thanks for stopping by, sharing a little bit about you and how you got here. It's a pleasure to get to know you a little bit better. Thank you so much for having me.